Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about how to get flat abs. I've been trading for over seven years and these are definitely things that I wish I knew prior to trading my abs. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about those mistakes to avoid if you want those flat abs. Mistake number one, not engaging your core. So this one, not only for just your core, but for all muscle groups require a lot of attention. If you're not engaging your muscle groups or just not engaging your core, you're not gonna be getting the most out of that exercise. I find most people just go through the motions. They're not truly feeling it in their abs or they may be even actually feeling it somewhere else where they're not supposed to. So the biggest mistake most beginners make is not doing an exercise properly. If you're not properly doing an exercise, you won't be able to engage your core properly. So if you're just going through the motions, you're not going to develop the muscles or those flat abs that you're looking for. The first thing I would recommend, take it slow. For any ab exercise, go two seconds to one side and two seconds to the other. Or if you're doing, for instance, leg raises, you go two seconds up and two seconds down. So when doing these types of exercises, take it slow. Take your time, you don't need to rush through them. Make sure you're doing the proper form. Which now leads me to mistake number two, breathing technique. Having a proper breathing technique will help with every exercise, but especially when it comes to having abs. So when you're breathing naturally, your diaphragm will contract your abs. So that's constantly already working your abs. Although, you can't just do that and expect to have abs. Okay, so when you're doing the positive portion of your abs, where you're contracting them, you wanna be exhaling. When you're doing the negative portion, the eccentric portion, you wanna be inhaling. Keep this in mind also, not when just training abs, but when training any muscle group. That also leads me to mistake number three, and that's bad form. Okay, so I talked about engaging core and breathing. So you now know how to engage your core, you, know, you now know how to properly breathe, but if you're not able to properly do the exercise, now every exercise has a specific style of form, you will not get the most out of it. So when you're doing a crunch, the first focus is bringing your torso off the ground. You wanna make sure that your hips are aligned, you wanna make sure that your knees are upright. There's multiple ways of doing a crunch, but in this way, that's how you're supposed to be doing it. Now your hands can be at your chest, it could be at your shoulders, it could be together, it could be behind your head whichever feels most comfortable to you, but the main focus is to be feeling this in your abs. So having bad form is not necessarily gonna stop you from making gains, although it can increase your risk of injury. So to stay away from making any injuries, make sure you're doing proper form. Mistake number four, not including compound exercises into your routine. Compound exercises really use a lot out of your core in order to do the exercise, whether it's a squat, or a deadlift or a bench press, all those exercises require you to engage your core in order to do them properly. Now that your core is engaged, you'll be developing those muscles even when you do a squat, even when you do a deadlift. So keep that in mind when doing those exercises. Mistake number five, having a poor diet. So everything I just went over before is gonna be developing those muscle groups properly. Now, in order to see your abs or to get those flat abs, it's gonna be in the kitchen. A lot of the time people do the exercises and you know they may get to the point where they're doing it properly when it comes to the form, when it comes to the breathing, but their diet is just not there. Now body fat percentage is huge in this. If you have a higher body fat percent, you will not see your abs, nor will you have flat abs. Keep in mind that having a lower body fat percent will show the abs that you've been working so hard on. Keep in mind with your healthy lifestyle, doing all the exercises, make sure that you're having a good diet. But have vegetables, have fruits, have lean meats, have your healthy fats. Now that's all for another video to go in depth, but that's something to really keep in mind when you want to develop flat abs. So I hope some of those tips helped you guys out. If you did in any sort of way, feel free to comment down below. If you guys like my type of content, feel free to leave a like below and subscribe. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.